Nope. Oh, I mean, we're live. Okay. So this is Cooking with Grace. Take one. Action. All right. Cooking with Grace. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today um, on the very first episode of Cooking with Grace. And hopefully there'll be many more. But today we're going to do a very basic, simple um, vegan basil pesto. And I've made this dish so many times throughout my life and um when i was not vegan i made it using vegan uh using parmesan cheese today we're not using parmesan cheese we're going to be using some substitutes and instead of cheese today we're going to be using nutritional yeast and vegan parmesan so um what's a vegan parmesan made with so vegan parmesan is sometimes made with uh Sometimes made with potato starch, sometimes uh, various nuts or seeds. This recipe, I'm not sure. I did not make it myself, um, but you can, if anyone needs ideas. I've I seen it made with cashews and stuff. Well, cashews uh, are definitely used. In fact, um, I'm using pine nuts for the nut instead of cashews because this is the original recipe. Actually, pesto was originally um, from, I think, Genoa, Italy, the northwest part of Italy from like the 16th century. So just a little bit of history there. Um, so I guess let's get started. I don't know if anybody has uh, their ingredients or if anybody got the list. Um, you can follow along and try to join in. If not, you can maybe take notes. And I think that it was also posted the recipe. So if you don't uh, participate today, at a later date you can. So um, the first thing we have is pine nuts. Um, and that's going to go into our Vitamix here. The entire recipe is going to be made in a blender. You can use you can use a blender if you have a Vitamix or any other high powered uh, you know blender that would be good. Um, so there are pine nuts. Um, the second ingredient we're going to add is garlic. Yeah. Yeah, two to four cloves. Um, you can roast like a clove of garlic in the oven if you want to get more of a um, sometimes garlic stings a little, so if you roast it, it takes it away. Uh, today I did not, um, so I'm going to add that. Um, the next ingredient is two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. It adds a cheesy flavor to it. It also has a lot of B12, so it's healthy. Um, and then I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese in. Um, and what else we got here? Parmesan cheese. Oh, lemon juice. Yay, my favorite. Okay, so we're going to put that right into the blender. Um, it's about two tablespoons, which might be uh, to a half of a lemon, um, but I like to go heavy on the lemon. I love lemon. There we go. One. And if you don't have a strainer like this, you can just use whatever you have. You could just squeeze it in a cup. And use a regular strainer. You don't have to have a. Oops. I don't want to just um, okay. So that's about two tablespoons. So we'll leave that there. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. And Jill <laughs> was so kind as to lend me this hedgehog uh, measuring cup set. So we're going to use that. It's so pretty. And what did I say? Half a cup? I think I said. So this is a half a cup. A little hedgehogs. Looks like a little wood house thing. Right there. Nice extra virgin olive oil. Whee! Get that nice layout. What else we got here? We got lemon. We got... So I like to put the basil leaves in last. That's, that's, this is like, this is what makes basil pesto, right? So, um, because it does oxidize and it can kind of turn brownish. So uh, if it like turns too long. So like, I like to put that in last. Um, so let's just see, I have water boiling for the pasta. Uh, Cause today's episode, I don't know if we mentioned it. It's peace, love and pasta episode. Peace, yep. We talked so, about it on live a little bit. Yeah, so that's the pasta part, and this is the pesto part. So 
We're going to just see if we have all our ingredients. We're going behind the scenes, see what kind of pasta. Oh, there's no pasta in there yet. Uh, no, it's still, is it boiling yet, Todd? Is it boiling? Look, I'm an assisting. I'm cooking. See, I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm a cook. I just cooked. Lemon, le oh, lemon zest. <laughs> lemon that's zest. Teaspoon of lemon zest. Oh, that's fun. So this just, if you don't know what lemon zest is, it's actually the skin of the lemon. And um, why do they call it zest? Why do they call it? Because it's zesty. It's a zesty flavor. Okay. It's a little more zesty than the lemon. Does that make sense? I don't know. But make sure your lemon is like washed because I heard somewhere that um, lemons are like one of the worst culprits for, you know, for, uh, uh, yeah, one of the like, dirty. One of the dirty. Yeah, I don't know, a dozen or whatever or, they are. Yeah. yeah. So is this even working? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna use one of uh, Susie's handy dandy. Uh, look at how cool these are. They're hummingbirds. Yeah, they're um, measuring spoons. So my girls took me up today, measuring cups. And that's right there. Right there. Right yeah. And got olive oil in there. Oh, and washer, yes. Um, so here's the thing. Pesto's kind of funny in that um, I'm gonna put these in last because I think that's the last thing except for water. Um, the consistency can sometimes be a little too thick um, and you'd rather have that than too thin because if it's too thick, then you can add more water, right? You can add more liquid, but you can't take it away. Um, I'm sure you've heard that before. So that's about two and a half cups. And Jill painstakingly picked all the leaves off the stems for me, so thank you, Jill. Uh, and okay, and at the end of this, we are going to, when we serve it, cut up the tomatoes. But first, um, oh, let's put some salt in. What is this about? Tomatoes are delicious. Oh, oh good. Thank you. So about a half a Taste teaspoon that's of salt. Um, that's good. And, uh, and there is water, so I have about a quarter cup, or so I'm just going to kind of do half. And um, and then that's basically it. You put your, how pretty is that, right? And then you take it, and you put it on your, is this, are you standing here, Tom? The room was a bit low, so I'm trying to raise the, I've been uh, coming. I can talk louder, too. We got our trusty trusty Vitamix here. Yeah, so we got the Vitamix, uh, and um, we're just going to start, you know, blending and see what happens. And if it's too thick, we can add a little more water. Oh, we're boiling, man. We're boiling. We're, see okay. that? I'm cooking again. So before we do that, we're going to blend. Look at that. Blend. We're going to put the pasta. That's what we call a rolling boil. So this is about... A rolling boil. About eight ounces of pasta. I might do a little more, um, but... We can always. Hey, that should be good. Oh, it's like eight ounces, but you know what, guys? I'm gonna put more because I think that the worry is everybody tastes it. Put a little uh, salt in. Not too much. Just a, okay. All right. So we got our pasta boiling. We're gonna come back over here to. Let's go. This, so you like this side better? It's good, yeah. Okay, to the Vitamix. And it's got a lot of gears here, so this one, why we... Awesome. We made it a step still for Grace. You can't reach the Vitamix. <laughs> I know. Crazy. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... See, I'm cooking. I'm cooking with Todd. 
I'm taking over the show here. See, I just, I just. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ooh, That's look at good. that. That's a pretty color green. It actually tastes pretty good too. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have the pasta boiling. We have the pesto done. Does anybody want to try the pesto? Is there any takers to get a little taste of the pesto while we're waiting a couple minutes for the pasta to boil? Todd. So I'm jumping in here. Let's yeah. see what we got going. Do we have any Italian bread or anything? I can get you a piece of bread. Um, I guess I can try it. Can you here. see me? Kind of. Okay, so you can't see me, so do we have bread? I'm going to get a piece. We got some bread. Um, I don't know if we have bread. Jill? Um, Susie? Can't you just eat it plain? Uh, can you eat it plain? I'm going to feed it plain. Oh, they're giving you gold stars for stirring, Todd. That was pretty good, right? I mean, did you see the wrist action? We saw, like, this. No, I didn't wrist. see it, but, yeah. It was a flick of a wrist. Um, so we're going to try a little on bread. <laughs> Do you want me to cut a couple tomatoes for you? we got to get Italian bread for the next one. This is oh, like okay. multi-grain. I don't if know. I do <laughs> no, no. I don't know. Don't you put it on bread? So ready for this one? Yeah, you can put it on bread. Absolutely. I'm cutting tomatoes while yeah. he's eating. Is it good? It's so good. Good. It's so good. Is that, yeah. cook is that cooking too? Uh -huh. When you taste, that's cooking? Yeah, you have to cook it yeah. unless you don't know. How's it? It's, it's all right? Tastes, tastes decent? It, it's like amazing. And the color is amazing too, which is cool. Let me try it. Try it. Actually, it looks pretty. It's really pretty. Look at that. Mm. I mean, it's perfect. Like, it's perfect. This was a quick recipe. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're fun. just going to eat it all? Just stand, yeah. So, what happens? You know. Yeah, save some of the pasta. We're doing this al dente? <laughs> We're going to do it al dente. Al dente. See, I know. He's al dente. He's, yeah, he's. Okay, so. It's Italian by association. Okay. Don't you throw it against the wall? Uh, it's not really to We'd have to let it cook a little longer. No, we let can't throw it against it. the wall. So sometimes, <laughs> like, when you're making pasta, I know you probably all you know I have made pasta, but. I don't really. Okay. You don't really? I don't. So not. I think I always do it wrong. Todd makes it so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. Because you put it in the fridge after, like, it'll, it'll make a lot. You'll break your teeth. I, I don't think, I think he just sprays it with water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I go in there, I'll be like, oh, I'm so excited for pasta. And there's pasta in the fridge. And then I go in the fridge, and I'm like, crunch, crunch, crunch. I don't know if the pasta Like, is what is crunchy. it? It's definitely not tonight. Um, He's like, I got worried you was cooking too long. I'm like, you didn't cook it at all. You just washed it. <laughs> well, this is kind of cooking here. But um, what else can I tell you? Uh, what is it? What? What's al dente mean? That's oh, al dente question. means, um, you know, if you wanted your pasta on the harder side. Al dente is... Um, Chewy. You know, my sister loves it al dente. So yeah. when she comes over to my house to eat it, you know, I know to make it al dente or she's going to like it. So, you know, and then some people like it a little more soft. But, you know, I think that if you're going to reheat it, al dente is probably good. But with the pesto... I don't I remember how this tasted. <laughs> you cannot... I can remind myself. You can actually freeze the pesto. Bad. You can, um, if you wanted to have it in different portions, you could use it for like bread, you could use it as a dip for other things, you could use it for pasta, um, and you can put it in ice cube trays. You can put it in little containers and freeze it for a long time. I mean, up to a few months, I think. And, um, and then as you need it, you can take one out and just let it melt and use it. Um, and I think I might've said at the beginning, I'm not sure, that if you... You could just dip bread in it. You could dip bread. I think he's going to just dip bread in it. Yep. <laughs> like, it's probably it's good we didn't have Italian time. bread. We got a couple of loaves back there, so... Do we have Italian We're oh. getting comments. Italians only cook al dente. Yeah, correct. That's yeah. true. Is that... Alabrandi agrees. Yeah. Rosanna agrees. Wait, it's called Alabrandi? That's my last name. Oh. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was like called, like another name for al dente. It was al dente. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're learning, too. Oh, yeah. Not learning. <laughs> So if Learning want, with grace. I, yeah. I mean, I like al dente, but I'll eat pasta except when Todd cooks it. I mean, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. My dentist advised me not to eat Todd's pasta. <laughs> that was like an official warning. So another thing I could just say of what I wanted to say was, if you plan to freeze it or use it at a later, later date, then you would want to like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hard boil or just quickly dip your 
fresh basil leaves in hot water or boiling water and then take them out and submerge them under cold water. Right now that word is escaping me, but um, blanche. that blanche, thank you. And the blanche. Oh, uh, wasn't she on Golden Girls? Will. <laughs> <laughs> well, the blanche. Golden Girls, right? <laughs> yeah. Another uh, cooking reference. <laughs> Uh, uh, the blanching will keep the pesto green uh, when you freeze it the next time, like you take it out of the fridge. You know, sometimes or it gets that brown. You? It turns uh, brown. Yeah. Like but avocados. You, like you gotta exactly. Do also, you could do a thin layer of olive oil over the top, and that would also keep it from um, browning. Um, let's check our pesto. Let's check our pesto. <laughs> <laughs> Is there going to be any left? <laughs> no. Is this how you're supposed to do it? Yeah, so I just go like that just to taste it. Um, Hook up in the air and catch your mouth. You know what? I would accept it's super hot and like I'm really sad. That burns his mouth every time too. So, so, so we're getting we're getting a question about can you make it without oil? Is there a substitute? No, because it's probably what it's made of. The base, you know, that's interesting because there are a lot of different uh, pesto recipes because it is a formula, right? It's oil, it's a nut or a seed. It's a green. So there are different types of pestos, but I... It would probably be something else. It wouldn't be like a pesto because oil is... Oil so is green. really a, a big part of it. Wrong. So that, are cheese. there no substitutes that would work? For oil? Um, I mean, you, you could try, you know, cashew vegetable butter? broth or... For oil? No, but you already have the nut. You right, we have the nut. nut. Right. So we would need the oil. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I, I, I just haven't made it without oil before to... Um, but, uh, I don't think you can. Maybe vegetable broth, you know, or or. That just becomes a basil soup. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Might be a little. It's tough. That's a tough one. Um, I, I can maybe think about it and do some research and get back to you. On Carol that. recommends googling it for what we can substitute. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that, but I didn't. Just know Google it. There. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's you think this that's, is done? that's done. You're I supposed to you throw it against the wall, Todd. Hey. You want to throw it against the wall, the whole pot? Isn't that, isn't that, I don't know. I'm not Italian. We don't have, I may have to use the bread for, no, you're going to burn. It's hot. It's hot. Turn this way so you can see. I have a colander in here, which is basically just to, sorry, there's some basil in there, but. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna lift it. Oh, yes. Are you cooking again? I'm cooking again. Look at this. <laughs> cooking with Grace, Grace and Todd. And Todd. <laughs> Let's do a different. Like, logo. what's that morning show? Morning Joe. Oh, no. oh, cooking show. What? Yeah, what's your name? The. Pardon me. Regis and Kathy Lee. Oh. oh yeah. Regis. No. You have Regis to do the. Kelly. You're supposed Kelly to do Ryan. the Italian hand gestures. What? <laughs> I can use another one, but then I think I get censored. So I don't want to do the one Italian gesture right now. Manja, manja, manja. All right, put over here. We're going to put it right in the bowl like that. And it's, uh, this bowl's a little big. They're saying that Todd is the sous chef. I'm not sure what a sous chef is. I can tell you what that is. Really? Sous chef is that like they made, I always thought they made sauces. I thought they made I desserts. I thought they, made they cut out the ingredients. The word Sue? Oh, no. Here we go. Education by... Well, why don't you come over here and then you can be... Yeah, come on, Sue. Oh, now how many people are going to be on this logo? So the word, the word Sue is French. It means under. So the sous chef is the chef that works under the head chef. It would be under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so what I need to Sue is chef is assistant. Yeah. They're That's saying... Are we allowed to eat it? Pastry yeah, chef is dessert. Taste testing. Is um, what Anissa says. I'm not sure everyone was here to try it, but. Okay, are you ready? No, we don't have the tomatoes in there. Oh, All right. Should we put them in? Yeah, you're supposed to. I'm not sure I chop them up, see? That's okay. Give us one more thing to do. People are commenting that Todd is an eating machine. Yeah, so just. Uh, we need to. Where's TD? <laughs> they think, right, they don't. They think Todd's an eating machine. TD is. It's awesome. Machine. I didn't break any teeth. Which is awesome. You sure it's pasta? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I can't double dip because I don't want to give anyone yeah. anything. Thank you for that. thinking you of know? us. Are you going to serve? Or? Yeah, I'm serving right now. Serve yourself or others. Is that yeah. how you, isn't, don't you have to plate it? Are you plating you it? Okay. Plate it. Isn't yeah. this a plate? Yes, Carol. That's, that's, oh, that's a bowl. Plate. That's a bowl. So good. I love pesto. I love pesto. 
I, you know, I love pasta on pizza. Oh, you're, somebody's saying to throw it on the ceiling. That seems like a waste of good pasta. <laughs> <it too> but <laughs> With the pasta on it? I don't know. That's the Italian way, up on the ceiling. <laughs> with the pesto on it? No, with, I don't I'm know. I'm on my third floor, people, so don't, no messages that I'm not being polite. What, help, what happens when you run out of forks? Maybe you want to try it? We'll have, I'll, I'll play it, but what do you think? I think it's amazing. I know, it's right on there. Mm -hmm. All right, you have, who else is trying? Oh, no. I love it. I love it. Hey, you want to try it? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so it, it, you know, we're gonna have to make some more pasta. But, um, oh, are we done? And I like you're gonna it. have to make another whole thing for yeah, TV. I think, I think I this is. I like the amount of pasta. On there. Is it too? Is not too much? No. Okay. You can, I mean, come on, that'd be ridiculous. You about done yourself. Yeah, people are people so are good. questioning you your veracity, Todd. Are you telling the truth? Do you like it? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I'm gonna take another part. It's well, I I mean, I'm a pesto lover. Oh, this is mine? Yeah. I mean, who isn't a pesto yeah, lover, I mean, though? Yeah, pesto's awesome. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like, like being, I mean, everything I eat, I, I heat up. So having fresh food is, like, awesome. And I mean, pesto tastes fresh when you make it fresh. You know, it's not like there's not the freezer flavor. No. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, no one brought bread, but that's okay. <laughs> so this is, you're criticizing the production crew? I think, yeah, I think... I mean, who doesn't eat pesto bread? And you know what? That's the one thing. I don't know. I nobody's saying. We get have some bread. I always have bread too. Oh, we're getting a comment to make make. Italians are rolling over their grain. They're eating multi-grain bread. We have Italian whole wheat. Is that against the law? Do you see this? I mean, now that everything's out, it's. Oh, we got it. We got a cat. Hobbs. Hobbs. Do you approve? Do you approve of this message? Uh, uh, definitely. So, yeah, so, I mean, is there any other questions? Or I know this is a fairly simple recipe, um, but it's so tasty. And if you're looking for like a quick meal and a more. filling, pasta is like, you know, what, two bucks? I don't know, now it might be a little more, but it's really not expensive. And, and pine nuts are expensive. So, most of the time I make it with sunflower seeds or you can. Oh, you, you got some. You dip, you dip. No. <laughs> you, dip. You, you need more than you your got. production crew came through. Yeah, you got, you got. Oh, wait, here. here. People want a close up. Do we want a close up of Todd eating? Look at that. that that's what you got. See, that's what that's that's awesome. See, you dip in the bread. That doesn't seem that gourmet to me. <laughs> I mean, if you had a baguette, I mean, you got have a baguette. Have so you bad. soak it up. I mean, aren't Italians supposed to eat? You soak it up. Ooh, shit. You lost one. Got it. <laughs> we have spare, we have spare like, uh. silverware. You know that's why bakeries in France make over seven hundred baguettes per day. So you soak up the food. Because you soak up all your food with bread. Yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah. interesting. That's yeah. why I love to eat. I love to eat with bread. Jean, would you like some? Hello? I'm good, thank you. I'll, I will though. I yeah, I don't want to get confused with the camera. Um, yeah, so let me just think if they're and the tomatoes, you know, they just kind of lighten it up too because sometimes pesto is it's a it's so good, but it is a stronger flavor. You that one. We will be posting the recipe too, <laughs> and we'll post this yeah. as on YouTube so sure. that you yeah. can watch um, the beginning. It's just one of my favorite dishes, and the fact that you can make it vegan and it's like amazing, like. And it's really easy to make vegan because you can get vegan parmesan like anywhere. Right. I mean, that's the only you thing you have to replace. Right. I mean, really at like Safeway and stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's, and the vegan parmesan, honestly, all the vegan, I haven't had a bad vegan parmesan. Right. Nutritionally, you can get absolutely anywhere. Anywhere. So, and, and, and you don't have to get the fancy stuff. Just get the basics, you know. Um, and this is saying you can eat it cold, you can eat, yes. warm it up. You can even put black olives in it. No, you can't. <laughs> You're not, that's illegal. <laughs> Oh, we want other close-up shots. Yeah, yeah. We kind of we kind of destroyed it. We but this yeah. Is, Todd made a mess of the of the of the. Yeah, but we're but it's it's so but we're having fun. <laughs> People want to have want to add olives. They do. What well, what kind of olives would you guys add? Like that was so gross. Like seriously, why? why would you do that? Because I love. I'll eat a whole Some people hand. love but olives. Like the the whole, like, no, no, I don't know. I'm not getting. I would okay. do black. Yeah. So. But think, so. think about the flavor. That's so terrible. You're killing such an awesome, fresh, natural flavor. 
with these disgusting little freaking circles. <laughs> when you don't like cows, that's what you say. Um, <laughs> but why would you, it just, oh, it's so, there's three, there's, uh, you're killing it. Don't you could it. saute the tomatoes, right? If you, you wanted could. to. You could, you could saute the tomatoes. Or sun-dried tomatoes. I oh, love sun-dried sun -dried You tomatoes. can also toast your pine nuts. You can, the toast, and it, it, especially you can when toast it's your out. nuts. Especially when it's cold out. Especially when it's cold out. Oh, no. Do we have? Yeah, especially. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, now the now now the segment's complete because we talked about that. So. That's awesome. Um. No. But yeah. So. The, <laughs> so the recipe will be available. No online. olives. No olives. What else can um, we say about this? Yeah. The recipe will be online. We're gonna do more cooking shows, and then we will try and have a cooking book, maybe out for the holidays, but that's a lot of pressure. Um. But there will be an Arthur's Acres Cooking with Grace cookbook eventually, because we get a lot. Like when people ask me all the time, "What do I eat?" Grace comes almost every Saturday, makes everybody food, and it's awesome food, and it's literally stuff, some stuff is like really, really just basic and burritos and stuff, and everything's amazing, so. Um, can I get a sneak peek of, of something I made for, for, that I can make for them on, um, wait right here, I have something to show you, oh, is, I would love to make this for, oh my god, this, this is like is my this, favorite. I made this last night, but uh, there's no time today to do it for this segment, so. The vegan a Caesar salad dressing. Ooh. Which is huge because there's not a lot of places to do vegan Caesar. And people are saying to submit that people could, um, that are part of the village could submit recipes. Definitely. We could For the cookbook. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and ideas of what you, or, or if, if you don't have a recipe, but you and want you can something cook, to. you can cook someone's recipe. Of course. Yeah, yeah. But this For is. For a large like, donation. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, you can help yourself. If you donate a barn. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fairly easy to make too. Is that it? What? Is that that's fairly easy to make too? The uh, that does that's a little that also includes a Vitamix and it is just more ingredients. Um, I like to make my well we're getting off topic but I like to make my Caesar salad with a Caesar salad dressing that's vegan, and I also like to make buffalo tempeh, and I like to make my own oh, yeah, crouton, so. No, what else, you put You put the what? lettuce, and then there was beans, wasn't there beans? And oh, the chichi beans. The chichi oh, beans. yes, the chichi, the garbanzo. And this is how we eat every Saturday, so it's like yeah. awesome. So. You know. People are asking when the matzo ball live will happen. Where is my, your mom We're waiting to find out. My mother is driving from Florida, so she should oh, be wow. three or four years. And then, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's just we're just getting all the details down on the dates for my mother right now just she's working on the plan so definitely like maybe the first or second week of August and that's awesome that's gonna that's be a longer week. one so August we're gonna have to figure out preferences. okay <laughs> what August is on Monday so do you wanna close oh. it out yeah so maybe uh, yeah we have to work on that so thank you everybody for coming to Cooking with Grace. This was Thanks. awesome. Um, and again, the inspiration was one, because of Grace cooking on Saturdays and the amazing food she makes and we love it. But also because I get questions literally every time I go live on asking what we eat, you know, and, and how we eat. And there's people that want to be plant-based, want to be vegan, but just don't know what we eat. And when you now what you could see what we eat, it's really easy to do. And so we're going to try to teach you how to eat uh, you know, cruelty free. This is cruelty free. Nothing suffers for anything that Grace made today. And we're going to add more and more recipes, easy, complicated. So we'll probably switch it up like for the more complicated recipes, have stuff prepped. But um, this is something we really want to do because it's all aspects of compassion. And this is a big part of compassion is cooking with compassion and showing people we can eat just as good as people that are eating meat, but nothing has to suffer for our uh, our meal. So we thank you all for coming. Thank you. And thank you so everybody much. in Yay. the crowd. And we have a big studio Thanks audience so here. Much from everyone. So thank you, Grace. Thank you. Thank you Peace, love, and pegs. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>